Hey people, it's Emulator Showdown here with an awesome update. As you know, I made a video about the official Alpha Sapphire being able to run on the 6th December version. Today's 8th December version is faster, but unfortunately it can't run the official Alpha Sapphire. So you are warned. So let's go. Guys, we start off with opening the downloaded emulator, the new version. What we do is we copy it over to here. Let's assume this is my previous version with all my save files, the 6th, this, uh, 6th December EMU Showdown version. Well, we assume this one has all my save files. So we open it up, we go to STMC, here, title, for. These are all the save files for games. For example, this one is for Alpha Sapphire, this one is for Omega Ruby, etc. Well, what we do is we copy this over and we go to this folder but in the new emulators folder here. STMC again, Nintendo, 00, zero Tidal and as you can see here it is empty. What you will do is paste your save files into this and whenever you open Citra you will be able to continue where you were left. <coughs> as you can see yep we start off with the comparison between 8 December version and the previous 6 December version on Pokemon Moon I made the same route through the city which is known to be very heavy for the emulator as you can see the FPS is much higher in the new version This new version unfortunately does not have the fix for Petalburg Woods, so this version won't be playable on the official Alpha Sapphire or Omega Ruby, but on the hacked ROM Star Sapphire I saw a nice boost on FPS. The last tested game is Bravely Default. The frame rates are insane, so I think almost everyone should be able to play this game on his or her computer. Even though the FPS is extremely high, the new version is even faster. Everyone's gone. <laughs> well, look who's back from the dead. Jan and Sir Nikolai, my friends. That's it for today guys, the 8 December version will be in the description, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more.